know how I ended up going through a reality show phase in The Sims 4, but here we are. I'm so sick of the regular gameplay challenges in The Sims 4. How many times can you do rags to riches? I'm so tired of it. I needed something new. I needed a new way to play, and I'm not saying that reality shows in The Sims 4 are new because they're not, but I have never played this gameplay style, and I'm having so much fun with it. And when I say reality shows, I'm mostly talking about like trashy, crappy, old school, nostalgic, MTV style reality shows. And today's video is actually gonna be based off of an old reality show from MTV called Room Raiders. This is Room Raiders, the show that gives three <laughs> unsuspecting singles the surprise of their lives. They were so bad, but also really good. I don't know how to describe it. So I'm gonna show you in The Sims 4. This is my Sim. This is Ryan Murillo. They are on a hunt for love. They normally have awful, terrible, crappy luck when finding love, but luckily I have put together this super effective dating show for Ryan, so they have come forward to me, the producer, and they want to sign up. Can't really blame them, you know, it's hard, hard out there. Let me introduce you guys to our daters, dates, daters. I can tell you that Chloe is super charismatic. She's a teacher. Little bit of that dark academia style going on there. We've got Beatrix, Strangerville native. She loves nature and animals. And finally, we've got JC. JC grew up in San Machuno. She studied fashion and then she wanted to move to more of a quiet, quaint life. She threw a dart at a dartboard and ended up living here in Strangerville. Everyone has been dropped off at this slightly suspicious area in Strangerville. And here we've got three tiny houses that we are going to be going through. And each of these houses here belongs to one of our players. One of our sims in this dating competition. But we don't know which one yet. And obviously Ryan, our dater, doesn't know either. So nobody knows whose house is going to belong to who, except for me. But what we're gonna do is have Ryan go through each house, try and find like specific things that maybe they're interested in, skill items or <laughs> collectibles things like that that maybe Ryan would be interested in and we're going to pick who Ryan is going to be dating by the end of this based on the tiny home that we go through. Let's start off with the one on the left. So we're going in to house number one. Ryan is gonna be looking around checking out the objects in this house trying to see if there's anything that catches their eye. This room has so many conspiracy books in it like I'm looking around trying to find all of the clutter that we've got. Fortune telling for goofballs. Crystal Vuz top secret inventions. There's also some books over here, a little bit of clutter, looks like maybe a mug. Should we go on the computer? Should I lurk around to see what files we find? Maybe we can check out the computer. I mean, everything is fair game. Everything in the house, I'm allowed to go through this, right? We're also seeing some files over here, got some gardening supplies, books. This person might seem to be a little bit on the messier side and tons of conspiracy theories objects. Like the posters, the Strangerville posters on the wall. It's cute, it's cute. Let's go check out the bedroom. We're maybe noticing that this has a little bit more of a rundown vibe in this trailer. There's cracks on the wall. Should I test the bed? Let's relax. I mean, it's not anything special. It's definitely like a blow up mattress, but this person seems to be a little bit more on the laid back side. We've got messier stuff, maybe a little bit more like sentimental things as opposed to like super trendy decor. Giving off very much like zen vibes in here, you know? All right, let's go over to house number two right next door. It's cute. Let's go in. Walking in the front door. Again, we're feeling happy. Checking out some of the stuff, some of the decor by the front. I'm seeing it looks very retro. We've got a knitting thing on the ground, a crochet box over to the side too. Ooh, we have a visitor. JC has come to say hello. Also checking out the decor in here. What is this? On the table, looks like baking books, nice retro TV, crafting supplies. Is this your house? Come on, be honest. I'm also noticing the bacon and eggs. This person is maybe a foodie. Oh, we also over here have some baking supplies. It's nice in here. It's cozy. I feel like there's a lot of hobbies going on in here. It's very central around the crafting. Very cute. Let's go see the bedroom. Walking in the bedroom, I'm seeing more bacon and eggs, or this one's just eggs. Also, JC is really, really trying to talk to us here. JC's very distracting. I'm not sure. This is either her house and she's very like territorial about it, or this is not her house and she 
she's very competitive. Either way, kind of love the tea. Ryan made a salad of all the things, of all the ingredients in here. You're making a salad. All right. You know, I think the vibe in this house is very much just that people like to be here. It's very comfortable. We're gonna move on to the next one. It's getting dark. Let's go see what this one is all about. There is no time to waste. Ryan walking up to the White House in the back here. Let's see what the first thought is. All of them have gotten this kind of reaction from Ryan. Every single time they walk into the house, they get that happy moodlet. Sometimes if it's not decorated in a way that a sim likes, they'll kind of have like a negative reaction. So every house so far, Ryan has really liked the decor. This house looks definitely a lot more fun, more colorful, more bright. We've gotten some of those like comedy slash like theatrical faces on the wall. Let's go check out the kitchen. We've got some movie posters on the wall. Pretty simple kitchen, no clutter really. Oh, someone's walking in. Maybe this person really likes movies. Oh, we have a book right here. Acting volume three, finding the drama. I'm also noticing a microphone over to the side. We've got a video gaming console on the ground too. I can see Ryan enjoying some video games. This is cute. It seems like an intimate little area. Like we've got the sectional closing it off. We got the video games in the back. Also maybe an animal lover because I've got the cat thing on there. Very cute. Let's go check out the bedroom, which I believe is down here. Wait, hold on. JC, why are you sleeping in this bed? I am confused about which house is yours. I'm gonna send Ryan into the bedroom regardless of if JC is in the bed or not. And we're gonna check this out. Over here we have a trophy. It looks like a soccer trophy or a sports trophy. More acting and a soccer ball. This has been interesting. I think Ryan is feeling pretty exhausted by going through all of these houses today. They seem confident though. We've got the confident moodlet. I think we're good to make a decision. I think I need to add some fairy lights. We are definitely getting shown up by that little community back there. Hold up. There, that looks a little better, right? <laughs> Let's do a review and then we're gonna reveal who's not going to be the one. This was the first house here. We saw the posters on the wall, conspiracy theories maybe. Clutter looks kind of messy in here. Then we've got this house, which was the more retro style one. This is the one that had more of like the knitting stuff, bacon and eggs. And our final house was this one here. We've got our microphone, the video games. Yeah, those are our three options, our three tiny homes to choose from. Before I tell you who wins this dating show here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Ryan so that we can figure out what decision they're going to make based on their own likes and dislikes. So Ryan loves singing, writing, and guitar. They like the color gray and they like farmhouse decor. So with that in mind, the eliminated house is going to be this house here. Ryan is not feeling it. This little blue retro cute house is going to be the one that gets eliminated. That means Ryan can sit and wait and see who's gonna come through that door. And we're gonna see who this house belongs to, who we've actually eliminated here. So this house belongs to JC. We knew it, JC was here the entire time. Maybe a little bit territorial, maybe feeling like she wasn't overly excited about someone going through her stuff. JC actually works from home. She sells her cross stitch creations down at Hedford on Bagley on the street. What? She also sells some of her knitting creations and she's got a huge love for teddy bears and all things cuddly. She loves to bake, loves to cook, but JC will not be the one for Ryan. This is gonna be close because Ryan found some skill items that they were interested in in both houses here. But the next house that we're going to be eliminated is this house. Unfortunately, Ryan loved this. This house a lot, had a lot of fun in here, but wasn't 100% feeling the vibes. The cat thing was a hitter. <laughs> I could maybe potentially see this house being someone who could be a friend for Ryan. We're gonna wait and see who walks through that door. Just like last time, Ryan is super excited to see who it's gonna be. And walking through the door is Chloe. <laughs> Chloe is an aspiring actress. She's funny, she loves video games, loves having a good time, curling up and watching a good movie. Ryan is literally talking about the freaking cat. See, I think they'll be friends. I think they're gonna leave this relationship challenge as like besties maybe. There's only one house left. We are going to go to that house and meet our new date. We'll have them sit down and just wait. I think Ryan picked this house because we can see the books scattered everywhere. We can see the music. There's a story here. There's life for sure. So we're gonna get to know the owner of this house, which obviously is our only sim left. Beatrix. She's creative. She's a bookworm and she's paranoid.
annoyed. This show is set in Strangerville, so I wonder if our Sim maybe grew up there. And she's a muser. Oh, this is gonna work out good. I can already tell these two Sims are hitting it off. I think these two are gonna be super compatible. I'm really excited. I kind of want to follow them on their date, but I'm gonna leave them, get to know each other, end this weird date madness, and Ryan hopefully has found some love. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of reality style of content that I've been super into lately. If you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.